Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, spring is finally here in Utah, and so today it looks like it might be kind of stormy and rainy, but um, my grass is green. I've already mowed it once. It's about it's about April 4th, I think, today. The, the trees are starting to blossom a bit, and uh, yeah, backyard is looking okay. Um, still snow-capped mountains, as you can see, but it's starting to warm up. I actually got a trampoline because my kids wanted one. Um, hopefully it doesn't blow away in the wind. But yeah, it's still, it's about in the 60s. But uh, anyway, this is another gig vlog I'm going to be heading up be heading up to Wyoming again with a foo but I wanted to talk to you guys about um, just kind of the setup that I use when I play clubs like this uh, they generally you can get loud but sometimes especially at a place that I'm playing at this weekend they don't like you to be that loud until later on in the night so I, I'm bringing a really simple setup I'm gonna be taking I bought this, I just talked about how great the weather was and now it's starting to like blow and storm. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go in here into the, uh, let's go in here into the, uh, into the man, the man tent is what I, I guess is what I'm calling it. This is my little hot tub tent with the TV, portable hot tub. You guys, if you guys have watched this channel, you've seen this. And then my kids got this uh, for me for Christmas, the babe cave. <laughs> and then I just have like some chairs, all my chemicals, another chair to sit on. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna take, I'll be taking up, um, just one little cabinet that has a vintage 30 in it but it's I just barely got this cabinet it's by mono price and I think I only paid like 150 bucks for it which is a great deal for if you guys are looking for a speaker cab for your heads that's a great deal and I think it's even open back and so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and up we're gonna head upstairs to the studio I'm gonna plug it in We'll test out what it sounds like, and then I'm going to take it to the gig, and I will film some footage of me playing it this weekend on stage. Um, you guys let me know what you think. I think this is a very affordable idea for really good speaker sound, good cabinet sound on stage. So let's head upstairs and check it out. All right, so here it is. Um, it says a Celestion equipped on the front. It's just a very standard looking like black cabinet with the white trim around the um, front of the amp. And then in the back, it is open back. And if you look in there, I think you can see that it says uh, it's a G12 Vintage 30. I don't know if you can see the vintage on there. But you also have a uh, input and an output. So if you want to chain speaker cabinets. And I guess this is monopress, but also Stage Right is the brand. So it's kind of like this little amp here. So funny story about this whole Stage Right situation is when I initially asked to demo they they initially sent me a offer to demo a head without pay and I had to send it back and then I if I sold any I would possibly get some affiliate commissions and I just told them it wasn't worth my time but I told them I was interested in this I told them I was interested in this black cab for my heads because I have a lot of heads uh, in the studio, 
and I'm always looking for another vintage 30 cab or cabinets over there. Anyway, so I sent an email to the guy and he said, he said, sure, yeah, we can send that to you if you'll do a video. And I'm like, sweet, because that's what I would like. I'd need something like that. But instead of the black vintage 30 cabinet showing up, this is what showed up. So he misunderstood me and I was just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to explain it to him. I'm just gonna do a video on this little amp. And yeah, so that's what happened. And then this cabinet here by stage right, I ended up buying with my own money instead because I just didn't want to have to deal with explaining what really happened and trying to send this back. And actually the first one they sent to me of this amp stopped working and I ended up giving it away to somebody here that lives close by. But let's plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. Let's go. So I thought this little cabinet sounded pretty killer, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be taking this up this weekend to Wyoming. Why don't you come with me? Uh, should be a good time. The Lately, I haven't filmed for a while, but lately the drummer up here in, Wy in this place in Wyoming, he's the actual owner of the bar that we play at, and he's been drumming with us. His name's Terry, and he's really dug into the tunes I play, which I play a lot of 90s stuff. And he's really been enjoying it. So let's go check this out. Uh, oh, the amp I was playing through is the Black Star Venue series. It's just, it's a 100 watt uh, amplifier that you can get all the way down to 10 watts, is which, which is where I had it set for the video. But just, man, that's a great sounding amp into that cab. Let me show you what I'll be taking though this weekend real quick. It's also a Black Star and it's just one of the most convenient things and if you guys have watched the channel, you guys have seen this before, but it just makes, lately I've just been more about making my life, my life easier. And so let me grab my, let me grab this pedal board, you guys. All right, so this is what I'm taking this weekend. And just a very simple, it's just this Black Star pedal board amp, but man, it has everything in it. 
all the effects, overdrives, boosts, reverb, a tuner, modulation effects, extra drive effects, amp modeling. So I'll be running this into the cab, but I'll also be running it out of an XLR out. Where is that right there? Into the PA this weekend. And this is the only drive I'm gonna be using. Just the OCD, you guys. I found that less drive live lately at some of these clubs up in Wyoming, just kind of chill. The less gain I have, sometimes the better because really some of the stuff we play is more bluesy country and then some also some uh, 90s uh, alternative stuff a little bit, stuff like that. So this little setup with that little cab, I think it's going to be pretty good. So anyway, um, let's go. And as usual, you guys, I'll be taking the Richie Cotts and Telly because this thing just does it, man. I don't know what it is about this, but I just really, for rock and blues, it's a bad boy. Anyway, let's go. All right, guys, story of my life. Just when I was telling you how great the weather was, on my way over to uh, a food's house to meet him to go up to Wyoming, and uh, it's a dang blizzard. It's been spring conditions, almost 70 degrees the last few days. And the day that I decide, the day that the gig comes, look at this. The day the gig comes, we get this. Just my luck. All right, so today I, uh, one of those guitars I got from one of those Chinese manufacturers, Festly. Today I walked downstairs uh, and handed it to my son and said, here, you can have it. And it got me thinking just how crazy how different his life is compared to my life growing up. I remember when I got my first guitar, I had very conservative parents who I could tell did not want me. They never said they didn't want me playing the guitar, but I just knew that they didn't really, they would have rather had me play piano. That's what kind of parents they were. Uh, they supported me a little bit, but for the most part, no, they were very conservative. My mom would ask my guitar teacher uh, if she could, if he would teach me something other than rock music. His response being, "Rock music paid for my house because he'd written a few books on playing rock guitar." <laughs> and I'm just—it's just crazy. So my first guitar, I bought myself with my own paper out money, and had to buy my own amp. And my parents didn't really like the, didn't like that kind of music, didn't like rock music. My kid, I'm handing him guitars, giving him gear. I encourage him cranking it up and playing and just enjoying playing. I've never said, I've, I've only been anything but positive about, about the guitar. Not that my parents were ever really that negative. It's just, you could just tell it was a different thing. Like my dad never really sat down and said, man, Rich, it's really cool that you play the guitar or anything like that. And so it's just a completely different world we live in. And the fact that I have guitars I can just give to my son and uh, hopefully he doesn't take it for granted. I made him buy one of them once and he's helped me do some YouTube videos, but I'm just thinking about how different back then was when I was his age, as opposed to today or how I grew up, uh, as opposed to how he's grown up, just getting handed guitars. Like we live in like the golden age of gear where it's just everywhere and there's good gear everywhere where back in the day I had to freaking order through a Sears catalog you weren't sure really what you were gonna get I mean I could have went to the guitar store but I couldn't afford the stuff that was a guitar store anyway just just some thoughts on the way to a gig
All right, guys, it is Saturday afternoon. Uh, last night we played to four people. So this is kind of the dark side of being a gigging musician. Uh, those of you that play a lot know this. Played to four people for about an hour. They left. And the rest of the night we played to the bartender. And so we basically had a paid practice is what Afu and I call it. And so then part of these deal, part of these gigs when you come up to Wyoming is it's April, I think, 7th, 6th today. And still cold up here, like 26 degrees, 36 degrees. There's not a whole lot to do. Stuck in a room. Um, I've just been watching guitar videos. And I brought... I'll just kind of show you guys. This is where I'm at. I brought a little practice amp with me and then I might plug in my guitar later, but this is kind of like the view from my room, which is not really a view. It's like the roof. <laughs> and I think out there, you no, know, it's just the roof right here, you guys. So this is kind of the, uh, this is the realities if, if you're a gigging musician that plays the clubs. Um, so I'm still doing this, but I'm also doing toast, which is like a, this is more like the icing on the cake type money where I'm just kind of like getting paid to like go play and have fun where toast is this more professional, amazing thing that I'm doing. That's really like on a higher level, which is really cool. But, Gigs like this are also cool too because I shouldn't say it's really the dark side. I've been able to just kind of relax all day. I don't get to do that a whole lot when I'm at home. There's always something on my mind I have to do around the house or something I feel like I need to get done where up here I can just hang out, watch a movie. Uh, no responsibility really. I think we ran to the uh, grocery store and I got some chicken and some potatoes. Anyway, you guys just wanted to share some realities of playing gigs. Um, but I will film tonight. Hopefully there's people there because we need some tip money to pay for gas.
Thanks. Got down to the kitchen, just got done cooking some steaks. Flipping some steaks. Now it's over here flipping some yeah, steaks. Yeah. I got steaks. I got about two songs left in me. Great. <laughs>
right, guys, it's a couple days later. Um, the second night was better. We made some tip money. If you've watched this far in the video, uh, the second night, night two in Wyoming was a better night. And uh, got some gas money for the way home. <clears throat> made it home. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of that cab. I think it's a good, like, budget solution for you guys that are on a budget they're looking for a really good sounding cab and so uh i just have it in this uh i just have it in this little uh fender cover it doesn't quite cover it all the way but it's like a little fender like reverb uh deluxe reverb cover but yeah worked out fine and um the black star amped uh, two pedal board amp worked out really great. Uh, as always, do all the things, the like, the subscribe, all that stuff, if you want. And uh, we will see you, hopefully, at the next video. Could be a gig vlog, it could be an amp demo, I have no idea. Just feel like I'm running around with my head chopped off lately. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you at the next one. Adios.